liquids are almost incompressible. Incompressible. Just about squeeze that in there. Because the liquid particles are very close together. So this means that it's very difficult to try and squeeze a liquid into a smaller volume because the particles, the, the atoms, the molecules are already very close together, nearly as close as in a solid, but able to slide around each other, of course. And so you can't really squash them together any closer or hardly at all. Now, the pressure in a liquid now, what's pressure? Pressure is caused when you apply a force, such as we have here, 20 newtons, and we're applying that force over an area. And in this case, we have a, an area of a piston. And that will create a pressure. Now, the pressure in a liquid or a gas is transmitted So that's, that means applied equally in all directions. So here we have a hydraulic system. And hydraulic systems use water or oil. In this case, let's say we've got some water. And we pressurize the system by applying a force to a piston at one end in this particular case we create a pressure because that force is being applied over the surface area of the piston. And so we pressurize the water and the pressure in this water will be distributed in all directions. Will be transmitted in all directions. And so if we have some branches off this hydraulic system and if these pistons all have the same area as well, then we'll find that the forces on these pistons will be the same as the original force. So these will be 20 newtons, 20 newtons, and 20 newtons. And so we've actually created forces in different directions from one original force in one direction, just because we've transmitted the pressure through the liquid, through the water, in all directions.